Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Douglas and Diggets, it's your man's Dak908, a.k.a. The Dig Duggan himself. Don't forget it. I'm sure you haven't forgotten it. It's kind of hard to forget. I say my name in all my videos. I have over 2,000 videos, I think. So that's a lot of me saying my name. Regardless, we are here today with Arc Temper Goat Butter, a.k.a. Arc Temper Goof, Goof uh, whatever the hell's actually called, don't care. Uh, the thing about Arc Temper Goat Butter, I'm going to tell you literally off the top, okay? Visually, it has went from what's known as just standard, the gold standard gold, like the regular gold that you see everywhere, to what's known as white gold in certain circles. So, visually, that's it, okay? Um, Gameplay-wise, that's the important part. Before I get to the big change, let's start with the small stuff. There's always a bunch of small things that need to be talked about first before you get to the big stuff, so that way you know, because you're gonna get, you're gonna start small and end up big. You're gonna start with the small stuff when you fight it, and then you're eventually gonna find your way to the big stuff. In the tiny bits, she will leave the area quicker. Her retention to you is a little less now, meaning you have to really be doing significant amounts of damage to her, breaking parts, you know, hitting her upside the head, giving her really that work for her to actually stay. Where in which before it was actually possible to like two man the entire fight and she wouldn't leave because you could technically with two people get it done. Now, that's not to say that it's still not possible now. I'm just saying it's a lot more difficult. She's more prone to leaving quicker if you don't give her lots of damage so you know you have to, she have to give her a lot of attention not only is she gold and high class and luxury like a luxury sedan like a mercedes or like a lexus or a bmw but she needs all of your time not just your money she needs your time and your money so give her a lot of attention a lot of time a lot of damage and she'll stay with you a little bit longer it's like the exact opposite of like normal relationships usually when you beat on your girlfriend yo that's it but this one she want anyway moving over so once you keep her around the things you're really going to want to focus on in this game now is breaking parts breaking parts off of her body is the most important thing because the big change it will first talk about one more change uh, one more smaller change when she spits fire on the ground before if you had like a lance or any kind of shielded weapon with a relatively decent amount of guard and a guard up you could just kind of stay there and hang out and chill it wouldn't be too big of a deal now it's a pretty big deal uh lots of knockback which is kind of good in the sense if you have the stamina for it you she will actually knock you back depending on how you're actually facing the, uh the attack knock you back out of range however it still takes a lot of uh, stamina on hit and it it is it, it kind of hurts it hurts more it's possible to still block it all but you're gonna have to actually compensate for additional points to guard uh guard up of course and stamina skills actually maintain and also have a good amount of uh Health when doing so. Now, if you don't have a, a, a sheltered weapon and you're actually in the fire, you're probably going to go from 200 health to 0 health in 3 ticks. Pause for dramatic effect. So, now let's talk about the big change. The big change is fury. If you break enough parts off of goat butter what, before area 4, she will go into what's known as fury once you get to the final area. Now, in order to do this, you need to break parts. She, she will actually uh, go underground multiple times to, you know, fix the gold on her body. What that she usually does that we all know and love. Uh, I don't know about love, but we all know that she can do. But before, you wanted to just break the parts just to get the points. And then after you break the parts and got the points, you don't really have to worry about it anymore. In this game, not this game, in this particular hunt, the arc tempered version, continue breaking parts. Part breaker is now like... I wouldn't say a necessity, but damn close. You know what I mean? Like, you can go without soda so long as you drink water. You'll, you'll be fine. It's kind of like that. Actually, that's probably a bad comparison. Just break parts, okay? Break parts up until uh, the commander says to not worry about the parts anymore. On the video, I will show it to you when he says, yo, ain't got to worry about no parts no more. So keep, keep breaking parts till then. What I would recommend doing, it's a little difficult to do it in one run, even though it is possible in one run. If you can do it in two runs, that is also fine. But remember, if you're going to do it in two runs, try your best to not really break the horns off in one run. Or if you are in your second run and you still didn't get the, the notification, don't, I mean, it's not completely over. Once you go into the final area, it will really determine that. However, once you go into the final area and she doesn't almost do it immediately, go into the three mode that is, don't break the horns, okay? I know you're probably going to want to. You're itching to do it. You can just leave and then come back and make sure you break those parts. Break break her arms. 
break her tail. When she recovers it, break it again. If she recovers it, break it again. Break, 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 break. Okay, continuously do that, and then you eventually will get to the Fury mode. Once in Fury mode, she turns up. Everything is basically one shot. I could actually show you guys a mini montage of me get, getting one shot by literally everything she throws out. We were playing, and we had insurance. I quad carded in the final area by myself. And the funniest thing is, I would eat, come back down, attack it once, it would hit me once and I'd be dead. Come back down, attack it once, it hit me once and I'm dead. Come back down again, attack it twice, it hit me once and I come back and then I'm, you know, it's just ridiculous. So try your best to not really get hit with the very obvious stuff. She isn't very, she's not very agile in the final form. Uses mostly your head for most attacks. Uh, you can really see these attacks coming. Try not to overcompensate, or not overextend, excuse me. Don't, try not to overextend yourself into a lot of your more powerful attacks. Like, I was using Greatsword because, you know, I just kind of feel like it does a bit more damage uh, when I really need the damage to come out, especially when you get the monster knocked down and want to break a horn or thing like that because it's like 750 on the on the true charge. But don't overextend yourself, and you will be okay. So when she's in Fury Mode, everything kind of turns into like a one shot. Not everything is, but it, it's pretty hard to like survive some attacks. It's not impossible to win though. Like I said, a lot of her attacks are very slow and you can really see them coming out. Uh, she also has a couple of different ways and she'll do the breath, okay? Our tempered uh, goat butter, she will do the little heat wave breath that she does. She'll do it in bursts of two. If she does it once, she's going to do it again. I mean, almost like back to back. That's like... Not just Fury mode, that's every mode. But in Fury, she'll do, she'll spin around with it. She'll stand up and then she'll cause the lava flow on the ground. She'll swing it side to side. It won't just be in the, in the, on, the uh, on the floor directly. Uh, it's not a whole lot of change. And truth be told, it's not a very hard fight. And I'm glad it's not because remember, this is a monster we're still having to grind heavily for. For the relic armor and the relic, excuse me, not the relic armor, but the gamma armor and the relic weapons. Now, we're going to talk about the gamma armor real briefly, but the relic weapons, what you're really going to want to get into. Now, only, 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 well, I won't say only, but like, if, rather, if you go into the fury mode, if you incite the fury, if you beat it in the fury, break its horns off and everything, do everything you're supposed to do, you break all the, all the parts, you do all of this in like one run, it's possible, I've done it. You will get maximum reward points. You'll you'll get um like how many is it? I think like eight or nine, eight or nine. I think up to ten special spots. What's known as incan incandescent weapons, which is a higher form of what was uh, before. I think you had dissolved weapons and like melted weapons. Your last one now is incandescent. It's the fire stuff, not literally fire, but it's like the really good stuff. That's when you go back to the hub and you go to get your rewards. Those are the glowing ones. They're like glow like a light blue or something like that. These have a much higher chance of giving you very good stuff. It's not 100%. Um, you will not always get something super nice with it because, I mean, it is RNG, but it's a very high chance. Out of all the times I fought and beat the monster, only once did I not get a very uh, super dope weapon. I really wasn't even tripping because I got really good stuff from before. Now, these weapons are very, very interesting. I will probably have some on the screen for you. I'm not really gonna like look at all the stuff on the screen. I'm just I'm I I had the idea in my head. I just want to speak to you with all the information on the top of my dome straight up. So I'll have things on the screen for you to see. But it's new weapons. They have a different prefix now. Before everything was just gold and it was shiny. In this one, people are calling it platinum. I call it white gold. Things like that. The design is a little bit different. When you get one, the design will be totally different. It'll not totally, but it'll look very reminiscent to the gold color that goat butter is in the arc tempered form when you have one of these weapons they come in either elemental or status now the very 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 cool thing that i'm also also trying to look into a bit more is that when you actually get one of these weapons again they begin like uh kahar k-h-a-r-r i think is, is the prefix or whatever but they're usually elemental or status when you get one of these weapons it comes equipped for free elemental or status crit depending on if your weapon is an elemental or a status weapon so for instance let's say you get the paralysis sword and shield the new paralysis sword and shield that sword and shield will come with critical status for free very much so like the lunisher weapons that will come with guts or razor sharp or what was it health regen or something like that depending on like how you upgraded it 
these weapons get the same thing. Now, it's only critical status and critical element, depending on which uh, you actually get, elemental or critical, uh, or status. So, the cool thing is, usually in order to get those particular skills, you have to jump through hoops, and usually set skills, and those sets that actually have them are pretty crap. Now, what's probably going to be the case is, I wouldn't say elemental weapons are going to be the new meta, but it's going to be a whole new meta surrounding elemental weapons in general. Because now, all you really need to do is rock one of these weapons. These weapons, they have very good element or very good status usually, for the most part, like 300s, 200s. I don't, I haven't seen a, a, a 100 something yet. I have a 480 blast greatsword and like a 650 poison lance or something like that. Very high numbers. Um, elemental, I've, I've, I think I have like a 420 switch axe, I think water or is that like my gun lance i can't remember exactly but the elements and the status are very very high the coolest thing about it is that these all these weapons come with plus to affinity regardless of what they actually are coming from so the zora magro's great sword usually has like a negative 20 affinity actually has plus 10. so what people are probably going to do now is you're going to combine your critical sets you know your crit i7s your weakness exploit your crit draw your critical boost all that stuff and then tack on elemental attack uh, elemental up for whatever weapon you're actually using and then get mad crits and then mad elemental crits or mad status crits i think it's going to be a new meta for those types of weapons because they usually don't really get any role play it's usually just raw weapons all day all night granted at the end of the day it probably is still going to be raw we raw weapons all day all night but uh with this new crit status crit element on the weapons and not just you have to go through hoops and make it on your armor you can still rock your very op crit armor put a few different gems in there to account for some elemental stuff and then you might have something nice on your hands that's just what i feel might be a thing people might have a little enjoyment with it i know i'm gonna go and try to make a couple of really cool sets with this uh, but that's just what i feel about the weapons the weapons are very good very good i'm happy with the weapons i've actually lucked out and got quite a few lances before i've never gotten a single lance and i'm happy that it's a uh, more generous this time around because I didn't really give it a chance, even last time when they added new weapons, I still didn't play it. Now that it's Goat Butter, uh, Arc Tempered, and it's super new, I'm giving it a chance. So that's really dope. Now, with the weapons and everything out of the way, let's talk about the armor, because it's actually very good too. So the armor, per usual, you know, it has a little bit slightly different aesthetic. I mean, the gold is a little bit brighter, M more white goldish, I guess you could say. Uh, so that's that's a thing it's going for. But the skills, the skills are pretty dope. We're looking at Handicraft 4, Agitator 3, Stun Resistance 1, Heat Guard, Critical Boost 1, Weakness Exploit 1, Power Prolonger 1, and Constitution 1. Now, a lot of these skills are old skills, like Handicraft and Stunner Resistance and Critical Boost, but they have a couple of new ones in here. Heat Guard, Weakness Exploit, Constitution, and even more Handicraft. Oh, actually, Agitator's new too. No, it's not. More Handicraft, more Agitator. There you go. But the thing with this is actually the biggest draw is the heat guard now when we were fighting arc tempered xeno everyone was scrambling for heat guard and we couldn't really find it but now we finally did get some heat guard they actually put it in the boots but actually on t before we get to that let's look at the chest in my opinion the chest the arms and the waist going to be the best because it gets you handicraft in both the chest and the arms and the waist gives you critical boost and weakness exploit so those three pieces right there in my opinion the absolute best but in the boots you get heat guard which actually can help with a lot of people sets who probably do need heat guard without actually using something terrible like the lobby solid chest piece or even using a whole talisman and with that uh with those boots you get agitator so you get agitator heat guard and a good amount of slots so Armor is looking really, really good. I'm a fan, huge fan of it. Um, the biggest bad part to the armor is that it requires uh, it requires Emperor Nuggets. Emperor Nuggets are Arc Tempered Goat Butter's new ticket thing. The problem we have here is that it requires seven per piece armor. We're looking at 35 Emperor Nuggets. Now, these things, they don't just come off. You get maybe one to two a fight. You can actually get them by completing the fight and getting it as reward. Uh, when you know, you know, you go to do the the appraisal of your relics, you can get actually get one out of that, or you can get one from a car. You get one from off the ground. You get one from in the box. But it's it's pretty hard to get. I have ten. I can make one piece of armor, one piece. So it's pretty tough. Thirty five. So you're gonna be grinding this thing out for a minute. Uh, if someone has a more better, a more better, hmm. English crazy language, but if you have a, a greater chance 
like you you know numbers as to like what gives the best juice hit me up in the uh comments because i want to know i'm trying to grind this out because not on xbox but also on playstation two consoles but honestly guys that's really what you need to know about arc temper goat butter it is essentially honestly 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 the same thing the only thing to really take away from it is that it can leave the area quicker if you don't pay attention to it you must break as many parts as possible even if you already broke them continuously break these things i recommend just like the old times go in here with a full lobby 16 people four teams fighting the same monster get those points going so that way you can actually do the entire thing in one go because it won't actually get furied out until you at least get it to pursuit level five i believe so pick up those footprints and those shattered or scattered chips pick all them joints up increase your pursuit level as high as you can as early as you can break all the parts beat it in fury and then you get the good stuff and that's all you need to know about our temper go but look at me see we didn't really get a good haul that time around we only got four that's probably the weakest i've ever gotten but that's a haul nevertheless this one was because we actually fought him three times to get the juice and out of this one i got the goat butter thunder great sword which is not that bad not that bad at all uh what else did i get in there i'm, I'm literally looking at the footage what else did i get the video is over i'm just i'm just curious what, what did i get okay uh that's cool what is that sword and shield? Is, is that a fire sword and shield? Oh, yo, that's the that's the gun lance. I'm glad I got that. And, yo, that was the fire sword and shield. All right, bet. So, yeah, there you go. Anyway, it's been your boy. You all take care. Again, I broke horns, made fury and everything, and still didn't get the juice. You see how that worked? You got to get fancy with it. But it's been your boy.